take you back through some of the action we saw, some of the highlights from our seven fight card. Joe Elmore and Ryan Jett was a memorable one. Jed, who was dominant in the first round, seemed to tire in the second, and then Almore out of nowhere beating him in the third round, Pat. Oh my goodness, Jet landed punches all day long. But Elmore just weathering the storm the entire time. We thought he was going to get finished a couple of times from Jet's power. That's just That's one of them. Awesome. Jet, a super athlete with a blistering right hand, was landing it all day long. But Elmore, my goodness, talk about heart. Look at him roll through and go for this leg lock. That's creativity right there. And belly down and arches his hips into this. And gets the finish. Jet not knowing how to get out of it apparently. Amazing comeback, amazing victory. Joe Elmore, he is now backstage with Ron Crock. Thanks guys, Joe Elmore. What you survived, a finger poke, a knuckle to the eye, major shots, and somehow you were able to finish that Hail Mary comeback. Give us the details on the end of that fight. Man, I knew he was a power striker. I knew the only thing he did better than me uh, was that power right hand. He's got three in a row. Uh, so I tried to bait him uh, and stepped inside the middle of his leg and throw the spinning uh, elbows uh, and bait him down. He was hard to take down. I had to take a lot of punches, but eventually my game plan came in and I planned on uh, taking the knee bar, the spinning elbow knockout the whole time. And once you had that knee, did you know it was pretty much done deal? Yeah, as soon as I got as soon as I got my hip and I felt it on top of that joint, I knew it was there. I actually, if y'all go back and watch, I relieved the pressure once because I felt it pop and then he hit me a few times and, and after he hit me, I, I went back and I just let it ride through. I had to finish it. I knew I'd lost those first two rounds. He had outpointed me, landed some big strikes, and I had to get it. It's my, my son was here for the first fight. He's 12, and uh, I wanted to make sure that he'd see me win. Well, not only for your son, but I know that this victory had special meaning to you tonight with your grandpa battling some health issues. Talk about that. Uh, yeah, man, my, my grandpa, Lynn, he's one of the greatest men. He served this country, special forces. Uh, Grandpa Lynn, I love you so much, man. I did this for you. I know you threw that fight party for me, and it meant everything to survive and kill for you because you're the real killer. You're the real man. There's not a man like you out there, so I dedicate this fight to you. I love you so much, Grandpa. Joe Elmore, class act, our thoughts and prayers so, with your Grandpa. Yeah, yeah thank you so much. Uh, uh, love you guys, man. Thank you, Access TV. I'll see me again soon. All right, Michael and Pat, back to you. Thanks.